What is up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. This is the Gemini Jets June 2021 releases. Without further ado, let's get started. So starting off here, it's quite a small 1 to 400 release, it's more of a bigger 1 to 200 release, but uh, this is quite a small 1 to 400 release. We have the Antonov AN-124. Uh, I don't need this, but uh, I know a lot of people will. But uh, the registration is Uniform Romeo 82027. You are 82027. And the price is 66.95. Now, as you guys can see, uh, the prices on Dramagistus' website, it's slowly rising. I'm just happy that the model stores, they're keeping their prices down. But the prices on Dramagistus' website, they're slowly rising, which is kind of a problem for me because, like, why are you forcing people to pay more money for less quality? But that's just my opinion. But uh, yeah, price is sixty six ninety five. Anywho, moving on on the line, we have this BACD Flyer Embraer ERJ one seventy. Looks nice. Registration is Golf Lima Charlie Yankee Golf G L C Y G. Uh, I don't need it, but uh, I know a lot of European people need it, especially those of you who do L C Y. Uh, not L C Y. London City, yeah, London City Airport, and a lot of those airports. But uh, yeah, that was the BACD Flyer Embraer ERJ one seventy. Uh, the price is forty two ninety five. Moving on on the line, we have this. Uh, this Rex Express 737-800 registration is Victor Hotel Romeo Quebec Charlie BHRQC. Now, for those of you who don't know, Rex is kind of this small Australian regional airline. They recently started service with the 737-800 um, to places in Australia, to I think dinner stations in Queensland and Hobart. Uh, I'm sh I'm pretty sure of that, but uh, yeah, uh, Rex 737-800. I don't need it. Uh, this is in. 4695 and it's VHRQC the registration. Now this is this is actually perplexing. It's a SkyWest CRJ 700. I'm actually tempted to get this even though I don't do any airports that SkyWest directly serves. Um I'm thinking of doing a few airports in the future such as Atlantic City, maybe Denver and um this actually will be a nice addition to my fleet, but this is a SkyWest 737-700, the normal SkyWest livery. Lately, Gemini has been releasing a lot of these. They've been releasing a lot of CRJs. I know April, uh, April is it? Yeah, April brought the uh, CR American CRJ. Uh, March brought the Delta CRJ and the United CRJ. So they've been releasing a lot of these aircraft, so I can see why Gemini would release. This is kind of a logical option. I don't need it. Um, but I might want to get it. But uh, registration is November 604 Sierra Kilo and 604 SK. The price is $42.95. Moving on down the line, we have quite a retro release. This is the TWA uh, Trans TWA 757-200. This is the Trans World livery, I believe it's called. Uh, there's no comment on it, so I th I'm just going to call it the Trans World livery. Um, nothing really more to say about it. Um, this is going to be nice for those of you who are retro collectors. I don't personally collect any retro models, uh, as right now I'm focusing on building newer. But, uh, yeah. Registration is November 725 Tango Whiskey and 725 TW. Uh, and the price is 48.95. Moving on to the line, we have this, uh, McDonnell Douglas MD11F. Now, like I said in the last uh, release video, Gemini's release video, I said I needed to get the FedEx. I didn't get the chance to get it because right now I'm focusing on getting the NG models uh, from their, I think it's either April or May 2021 releases. Um, I'm focusing on getting their uh, Evo Blue 77700. That's at the top of my priority list. The, uh, the FedEx and UPS kind of are at the bottom as FedEx and UPS don't really serve uh, Newark. They serve, I believe, a few destinations. Meanwhile, United serves a lot of them, which is why the United 77700 at the top of my list. But it's a normal UPS livery, it's an MD11F. Uh, registration is the number 281 Uniform Papa N281 UP, and the price is $53.95. Finally, <laughs> round of applause for Gemini Jets. They finally released a European model uh, that a lot of people can get. This is the Wiz Air E32200. Um, nothing else really more to say. It's a normal Wiz Air livery. Um, registration is Hotel Alpha Lima Whiskey Charlie, H-A-L-W-C. And uh, the price is forty six ninety five. But um, this I might actually get um, in a few months when I have enough money. 
I might actually want to get this one because Wiz actually do fly. So basically, those of you who don't know, after I finish building Newark, I'm going to try to build Atlantic City a little bit, get a few Spirit Arc up, and then after that, I'm going to start building Prague. And so Wiz Air does fly to Prague if I do a lot of destinations from Prague. So I might actually get this A320. This is actually quite tempting for me. Uh, but right now, I have to focus on getting other aircraft. But yeah, this is a Wiz Air A320. Once again, the registration is HALWC, and the price is $46.95. Moving on to the Gemini Jets Ma Gemini Max 2021 releases, we have this uh, Air France, not Air France, French Army A330-300, registration is Foxtrot Uniform Juliet Charlie Hotel F-U-J-C-H, and MSRP is $56.95. There's nothing really more to say about it. I can see why Gemini would price this at a lot, because you have to put on the extra antennas and stuff, but yeah, there's not really much more to say about it. Moving on down the line, we have an Australian Air Force Boeing P-8 Poseidon. Now, uh, a lot of people say the P-8 is kind of the same as the 737, and it is. It's basically the military version of the 737. Uh, it's in the Australian Air Force. Uh, livery registration is Alpha 47003, A47003, uh, and it's 1595. Now, the reason why I didn't say if I needed these or not is because I obviously don't. Uh, right now, I'm just focusing on getting civilian aircraft, then cargo aircraft, and then maybe maybe um you know those other types of aircraft such as you know the pa poseidon but uh yeah moving on to the one to 200 releases we have this america west uh 757 200 this is in the ohio livery registration is november 905 alpha whiskey and 905 aw and the msrp is 9895 and the reason why i'm not saying if i'm any of these or not is because i don't i don't collect one to one to 200 as you guys know i only collect one to 400 as of now and maybe one to 400 max i don't really collect um one to 200 models as they're too expensive for me like if i had to build a one to 400 airport i'd have to be a rich person you know but uh yeah uh price is 98.95 moving on down the line we have another aircraft we have the eastern 757 200 registration registration <clears throat> registration is the number 502 echo alpha and 502 ea uh and it's 102.95 as usual gemini is hiking their prices as usual Moving on online, we have a FedEx 777F. This is um, Gemini's version of a 1 to 200 interactive of their 1 to 400 interactive series. Uh, except this is 1 to 200 interactive. It has opening uh, and closing doors. And yeah, basically, this is the FedEx 777-200. Uh, Vertrition is November 888 Foxtrot Delta and 88FD. Uh, and the MSRP is $152.95. Moving on online, we have this Frontier Airbus A321. This is in the Virginia, the Wo Virginia, yeah, Virginia, the Wolf livery. Uh, registration is November 704 Foxtrot Romeo and 704 FR, and the price is 94.95. And we have uh, yet another 1 to 200 interactive. This is the Korean Air Cargo 747 400 freighter. It's in the normal livery. Registration is Hotel Lima 7603, HL 7603. And it's $200. $200. Good job, Gemini. You just, just keep raising your prices and making your quality just bad. Keep going, Gemini. See what that's going to get you. Anywho, moving on online, we have two Qantas 7879s. Only for, they're the same registration, Victor Hotel Zulu uh, November Kilo VHZNK. The only difference is that this one is flaps up and this one is flaps down. That's really the only difference uh, between them. But uh, yeah, one is priced at 148, another one is 156 just for flaps down, which is which I think is stupid, but uh, that's just my opinion. Anyway, moving on online, we have this uh, Gemini Jets Airbus A321 uh, freighter. They actually did release this, I believe, in 1 to 400 last month. Either, was it last month? Um, I think, yeah, it was last month. And now they're releasing them 1 to 200, as they do. But uh, yeah, registration, registration is Victor Hotel, Uniform Lima Delta, VHULD. And the price is $94.95. Moving on down the line, we have uh, two Qatar uh, 777-300ERs. Now, the difference between these two is this one is uh, flap slats extended, uh, and then this one is flaps up. And now, this is in the FIFA World Cup 2022 livery. Uh, registration is Alpha 7 Bravo Echo Bravo A7BEB. Uh, the one without flaps is 146.95, and the one with it is 156. 
X. So this is actually a very interesting and peculiar release. I feel like in this release, Gemini, uh, unlike the last release, is really catered towards Americans, but American Airlines, Eastern, FedEx, New York, that was more catered towards Americans. This one I feel like is more catered towards everybody because you have a European, American, uh, Australian, and two other Europeans. And this one is very, very um, extended towards other people. But uh, yeah, if I had money, really all I would get from this release is probably the AN124 and McDonnell Douglas MD11F UPS. And maybe the SkyWest, but other than that I wouldn't really get anything else. But uh, yeah. That being said, that does conclude this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn the notification bell so you don't miss my videos. Uh, and comment down below what you're getting from this release. Once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.